Hi, everybody. This is George Foshin, Call Realty Best Palos Verdes Homes, and it is time for the November 2020 uh, real estate market update report where we're going to study uh, supply and demand and how that might affect the future of real estate prices. Because after all, real estate being a commodity, like any other commodity, has its price regulated by what? Supply and demand. It's that simple. So, Go to my uh, one of my websites, my uh, research site, bestpalosverdeshomes.com, and then hover your mouse over seller and buyer tips, just like I'm doing right now, and then see this link right here, Palos Verdes Real Estate Trends video. Click that. All right, let's let that load. And uh, the first thing that you're going to see is this chart, uh, which profiles the changes in a two-month period of time and a six-month period of time for all of the South Bay and Palos Verdes estates. Just as an example, I have lots of other charts that you'll be able to flip through. And what we're discovering here is the two month period of time of August and September, and the six month period of time of April and September. And the bigger this number is here, the stronger the market is. So we can see that in the last 60 days, the market has been uh, significantly stronger than in the last six months. Uh, especially for Palos Verdes Estates, where, um, you know, that's a big increase from 71% to 83%. What does that percentage uh, refer to? It refers to the number of pending sales demand divided by the number of new listings supply. So if you're, if you're thinking critically about this, what you're probably going to ask next is, well, if any one of those numbers changes a lot, then it could skew the conclusions that we're going to make. And that's why, as you scroll down further, you're going to see the actual numbers that go into making up the absorption rate. Let's take Palos Verdes Estates as an example. We're going to look at the six-month period of time from May through the end of October of 2020 versus 2019, and we see that in this case, uh, listing volume was the same, but pending sale volume demand increased. Um, so that is going to, the, the improvement in the absorption rate wasn't because there was less inventory. The inventory stayed the same. The improvement in the market for Palos Verdes Estates was because demand increased. So that's that's how you look at each of these um, uh, uh, each of these charts. Now, for the peninsula as a whole, all of the peninsula, it's a little bit different story. We had 516 new listings in 2019 in this period of time, uh, but we had far fewer listings come to market. In fact, uh, we had um, uh, blah, 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 here we go. We had about almost 12 percent uh, fewer listings. But we did have an increase in demand as well. So lower supply, higher demand. What do you think that's going to do to the future of prices? Uh, and we can do that for each of the markets that I define here. All of the South Bay, Rancho PV, Rolling Hills Estates, and Rolling Hills. Um, so I think Rolling Hills is the market that's had some of the more profound changes, I think. Look at this. We went from... We had a huge increase in supply, 75% increase in supply, but but we had an 88% increase in demand. So even though supply went up, demand went up even more. So I think, in, in my view, that tells me that prices will stay firm, if not continue to, to go up in, in, in the city of Rolling Hills. Well, that's it for now, folks, other than to leave you with this. Please don't use those big portals. You know the ones I'm talking about. Read their privacy policy. You're going to see that what they do, even though they're free to use, um, they take your private information and sell it to multiple agents and multiple advertisers on their portals. Why, why do that? That's just so silly. Instead, search homesinprivate.com, and then uh, you can investigate this site as well. Okay, I think that's long enough for right now. Last thought, if these numbers just seem confusing and you're overwhelmed by them, no problem. Um, 
use this link. See this blue link here, Schedule a Time With Me, powered by Calendly. Um, book a time with me, and uh, we can then I can share my screen and demonstrate answers to your questions um, as you as you uh, interpret this data um, and more. I mean, you probably have a lot of questions about real estate if you're finding yourself on this site. All righty, that's it for now, folks. Thank you very very much for your time. Uh, bye for now.